Tonight, there was both fierce criticism and support of a proposal to change Portland's needle exchange system. Since COVID, the city has handed out up to 100 needles in a single exchange. The mayor suggested returning to the pre-COVID program, hand in a dirty needle, get one clean needle in return. Our Donovan Lynch reports. In Portland, forceful resistance against a push to change the city's needle exchange program. It's not based in science and it's simply not necessary. It's not only reckless, heartless, but also downright dangerous. After public comment Monday, the city council voting seven to one against a plan to reduce the number of clean needles the city can give from 100 per person to one clean needle for one used needle, a policy in place before the pandemic. Mayor Mark Dion proposed the change, hoping to increase contact between users and public health professionals and to reduce the number of discarded needles lying around the city. Well, I would press hard and why the rest of us have to live with the unconscious decisions of others. Mayor Dion finding support from residents worried about open drug use and syringes outside their homes and businesses. According to municipal data, in a one-year period beginning in 2022, the city of Portland gave out around 250,000 more needles than it recovered. It's absolutely a disgrace, and it's not fair to the taxpaying residents of the city to have to continually pick up this trash. It's disgusting and vile that we have to deal with this. But many others raising worries about the health impacts if the one-to-one -one needle ratio were to pass. Several doctors gave comment Monday, fearing an increase in bloodborne illnesses under the new proposal. Turning away from evidence as a stricter needle exchange ratio mandates will hurt our community members. Counselors also voicing strong opposition before casting a no vote. People who inject drugs are members of our community as much as people who own buildings are. For now, Portland's needle exchange will be left to operate as is. In Portland, Donovan Lynch, News Center, Maine. After shooting down that proposal for the needle exchange, the council voted to use opioid settlement money to start a pilot needle buyback program. City staff recommend the program pay five cents per used syringe. That would be limited to 50 participants.